thank you, Jeff, uh, for those uh, kind remarks. I, I think I'll take you with me everywhere I go from there on. You, you, you do a great introduction. And, and Mark, thank you for, for your kindness. Uh, before I start, I'd just like to sh share some thoughts with you about this evening for me personally. I, uh, I have the, the advantage or disadvantage of traveling the globe and meeting with tons of people, heads of states, uh, governments, CEOs, uh, et cetera. And I must to all of you, this is the one of the most enjoyable four and a half hours that I've ever spent. <laughs> I'm, I mean that with all sincerity because, look, I do a lot of these and to be honest, uh, sometimes you wish you were somewhere else. And wow, with the combination of the, the energy of the youth and that we're in that room and then the passion that this room has around its cause, I, I am absolutely rejuvenated. And so before I get into my closing remarks, I just want to say some things because, you know, we often do get confused about uh, what is success. And someone might look at someone like me and has this, this fancy title of CEO and president and say, boy, you know, he's successful. And, and you get confused sometimes because that's, that's not the case at all. Because I, I think what really defines success is how many hearts and minds and souls of others we gather along our journey through life. And when you look at what this room, these people in this room have done with your cause and your passion and your energy, you are truly some of the richest people in the world. And I just want to take a moment. I just got back from Europe. I should be jet lagged, but I'm really pumped up. So I, I, I'll try to get this quick because I think I'm, I'm the last stop between the door, right? So we'll, <laughs> we'll get this over. Uh, I, I do want to say again how humbled I am to have uh, re received this award tonight and, and also uh, to be in company of this, this fine gentleman right here that just received it previous to me. We, we really are blessed by uh, having this much passion and dedication around uh, the programs here in the Detroit area that the SAE supports. And I, I, I couldn't have been more pleased to have uh, learned that, you know, this was going to be a sellout. We didn't want to be here and no one was here, like, like last year, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My psyche can't handle that, okay? <laughs> You're a tougher man than me. So, I mean, so we, there's so many more people that could be honored tonight. Jim mentioned it, and, 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 so, and so did Mark. But, but, but obviously, uh, uh, there's a tremendous amount of people that should be the, the volunteers, the coaches, the teachers. Uh, they should all be honored because of the hands-on effort that, that they put forth and to, to, to make these, these programs work and click and, and matter. Um, the people that do the funding, uh, because no matter how much passion you have, you, you need money to make the machine run. And so the people that provide the funding uh, that are put in the good hands of these very competent individuals uh, obviously should, should be honored. And, and then ultimately, the, the volunteers, um, the teachers, uh, they should be honored for, for all their efforts and their accomplishment around making learning positive and relevant in, uh, uh, in, from an innovation standpoint as it applies to the sciences that uh, we talked about, of physics and mathematics, et cetera. It's truly a team effort. Nothing uh, gets done alone. Uh, no one individual. It's always a collection of people around a common cause that's going to get things done. So innovation is the heart and soul of everything we do. It truly is, particularly in our industry, uh, to make uh, vehicles safer, make them greener, and Jeff talked about the connectivity thing. That's the, that's the next wave of the, the interior of the car in terms of human beings being connected to their world, their work, and their play, but being connected safely. So we need that. Uh, we need that creativity. We need that uh, innovation. And I saw that, uh, that energy and that passion uh, when I was at the SAE week and the Jet Toy Olympics. That was, that was just awesome. I, I didn't know what to expect. I, I stepped into that that room and it was this massive amount of humanity that was this high and 
Everybody was running around, and it was like crazy chaos, and I just loved it. It was, uh, it was just awesome. And you could just feel and sense all the curiosity that these, uh, these 8, 9, 10, 11-year-olds had around what they were doing and this passion and figuring it out. Uh, and as you know, curiosity eventually evolves into innovation. And somebody in that room is going to create something that's going to matter and it's going to change the world. And I'm just glad I was there that day. You know, I, I truly am. So uh, I, had a, I had a great time uh, talking to these kids and uh, just feeding on their positive energy. It, the, some of the things that matter most, uh, we talk about product, we talked about innovation, but there's these things I call intangibles that make you know, people successful or, or not, so, not so successful. And energy is one of the things I do believe in. And you, you know, there's positive energy, negative energy, and I can't describe it. I just know it when I see it. I just know it when I feel it. You step into a room and bam, it hits you, and you know you belong, you know you want to be there. And that's, that's, that's what's the beauty of being here. So, you know, uh, the, I want to just talk a moment about the teachers. They have made learning extremely relevant. You can see that. Uh, these kids were uh, just pumped up, fired up, and more importantly, they knew their stuff. Uh, you asked them a question, and they gave you an answer. And you know what? Maybe they made it up, but it sounded so good, I believed it. Okay. <laughs> It really was good. And the business cards, you know, I, I got that. I'm going to put them in my Rolodex, you know, because I want to say I knew that person then. So I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. So uh, I just hope that, you know, one of the things that we've, uh, we've learned uh, in terms of where we sit and in terms of our position as a, as a very relevant uh, supplier of technology, innovation, in terms of systems around safety, around a green environment and connectivity, is collaboration. It's just extremely important. And uh, this, this whole downturn just proves that, uh, you know, you have to do it yourself. You can't do it alone. We have to collaborate to make it work. We have, uh, we are where we are as a company because of outstanding uh, working relationships with our customers, with our, with our, with the, the governments that we work with around the world, and, and for that matter, each other. And I want to make sure that I, I say again, as I said so many times before, is that if anything has been learned in this crisis we were in, was uh, collaboration is so important, and not to draw lines where there's a customer and there's a suppliers and, and you bang heads around the commercial line of streamers. That that will not work. Uh, and so I hope we do not lose our way as we as we exit into better times here uh, because the collaboration is, 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 so, is so important uh, in terms of uh, uh, making this industry click and be the role model of, 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 of all industries because there is no other product on the planet that is as complex and technically difficult as an automobile. We stick our key in, in that uh, ignition and we turn it and we expect it to work every time. There is no, there's nothing that you have other than that car that you expect to work every time. Just turn on your computer, and when it doesn't work, you get a little irritated. But turn on your car, and it doesn't work, man, are you? Well, I won't say it because of, you're uh, upset, okay? <laughs> and you want it to work when it's hot, when it's cold, when it's raining, when it's dry. And I tell you, to do that takes brain power, takes smarts, takes creativity, but above all, it takes collaboration because you just can't get something like that to work that wonderfully so without being, uh, being on, on top of the game. So I want to make sure that I, I get my, my, uh, uh, my kick in on that because I, I, I'm big on that. So at the end of the day, I, I, I am very proud to, to be here, to, to represent um, my, my team, my global team, um, because I'm here tonight because of them.